Hi, welcome to Mind and Body Mentor. I'm Sifu David, and in this lesson, you will learn how to fall asleep faster and how to have better sleep. Stay tuned, and I'm going to show you a few tips that will help you fall asleep quickly. So I'm going to share with you a few things I've used personally that would really help me when I'm having problems sleeping. So there's two categories. There's things that you can do before you sleep, and there's things that you can do while you just started sleeping. So now let's talk about some techniques. We'll call them qigong or meditation techniques or even hypnosis techniques that you can use to help you fall asleep faster and help you have deeper sleep. Uh, and these are the ones that you can do without any moving. So this is when you are uh, already in bed and you already have your most com comfortable position and you will start to do these mental exercises to help you fall asleep faster. So I haven't mentioned some uh, practical things you can do. For example, uh, you can wear a sleep mask so you can shut off all the light to your eyes and that will help you fall asleep a lot faster. If there's a lot of noise, you can use earplugs to uh, reduce the noise. And obviously you want to find a nice and comfortable bed that doesn't cause too much tension in your body. Uh, the most comfortable, some people like hard beds, some people like softer beds. So if you can, I would experiment to see which one you can fall asleep faster on, which one you feel more comfortable on. And there's no um, hard and fast rule saying that soft beds are better or hard beds are better. I think it really depends on your body type and or what is your uh, personal preference. So here are some tips that you can use to help you fall asleep while you are trying to sleep. And the first thing is using some kind of brainwave entrainment. So if you don't know what brainwave entrainment is, it is the use of an audio signal or some kind of electromagnetic wave even in order to uh, manipulate your brain waves so that it starts to tune in to a specific frequency. So your brain has many waves. We have alpha, delta, uh, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, theta, and maybe even more that we haven't even measured yet. Okay, so the sleeping brain waves are in the theta and in the delta. So they're the really low waves. And when you're sleeping, you're in the theta brain waves. Okay, and when you're in very, very deep sleep, then you're in the delta brain wave. Uh, uh, that's what's happening in your brain. So what you want to do is to be able to program your brain to start to turn down the volume on the higher uh, frequencies and start turning up the volume on the lower frequencies. And how you can do that is using brainwave entrainment. So there's a lot of different uh, stuff you can experiment with. Even on YouTube, there's a lot of different frequencies that you can experiment, binaural beats and things like that. But personally, what I really like is the uh, planetary frequencies. So for example, there's a Jupiter frequency and there's a Saturn frequency. And those are really low frequencies that's calculated based on the um, size of the planet. And apparently each planet in the solar system corresponds to our chakra system. So um, some of the smaller planets are, are uh, good for uh, helping us to be more alert and be more uh, focused and have a stronger body. And there's some planets that are the bigger ones like Jupiter that help us to um, enhance our theta and delta waves. So it's really cool. There's a, I can do another video on this if you're interested in that. Make sure you comment in the comment section and ask me to do a video on how the planets correspond with our chakra system. But for now, um, just let, let you know that I've been using the Jupiter uh, frequency and that really helps you to enhance the uh, brain wave of delta and theta. So if you're falling asleep, I would use some kind of headphones or earbuds and just play whatever frequency that you choose that will help you fall asleep faster. And what it'll do is it'll help your brain to start to um, produce more of these uh, lower brain waves and start to turn down the higher brain waves. Because the higher brain waves is when you're really alert, when you're awake, and you need to turn, turn those down and turn up the uh, waves that are in the lower frequency. In terms of the self-hypnosis and it's, or the qigong or the meditation method, um, there are two methods that I use personally and that I've been using since I was a little kid and it's worked almost every time. Whenever I fall asleep, I do these techniques and before I can finish the whole technique, I'm always wake up and say, whoa, I fell asleep and I already had a whole full night's of sleep and, I, and it's amazing how well this works. So um, here are the two techniques. The first technique is, I call it the um, body chi wave washing technique, okay? You can call it the um, chi wave washing technique. 
And what it is, is I want to bring my um, chi or my breath and my awareness, and I want to wash it down my body, similar to what I did with the Grand Tai Chi, but now I want to just do it in my mind without moving my body. So let's say that you're lying on your bed, okay? And uh, what you want to do is you're sleeping, and you want to take a deep breath, and then imagine that you're gathering all the breath up in your body, up to the top of your head, okay? And then you want to look up. So you close your eyes, but you're looking up with your eyes closed. And then you want to um, clench your teeth, okay? And what that helps you do is actually help push the energy up to the top of your head. Clench your teeth, okay? Open your eyes big. Look up while your eyes are closed. Hold it there, squeeze it, imagine you're squeezing that energy, and then let go. And just imagine that energy that you just squeezed now is washing down through your face, through your neck, down your shoulders, down your arms, down your back, down your chest, down your belly, and your spine, and your tailbone, and your hips, and then your thighs, and then your knees, and then your calves, and then your ankles, and then to your feet, and to your toes and out, and out, and out, like that, okay? So I'm doing a stand up, but you can do this while sleeping, you don't even have to move, so do it a few times, take a deep breath, clench your teeth, make your body nice and straight, look up, open your eyes, feel this, you should feel the energy going up to the top of your head, once you get that, then relax everything, look back down, slowly, look back down. Now look down, actually. So you first started with your eyes looking up, now you're looking down, and so basically is you're doing this. You're making the energy go from up, and then you're washing it, washing it through your body down. So imagine using, I would imagine white energy, okay? You can use whatever energy color you want, but I like to use white energy. Uh, just imagine a white energy gathering on your top of your head, and just imagine it coming, washing through every body part in your body, and then going through your feet and into, and then out of your feet, okay? And at the same time, you're looking up, and then as you're, as that energy is coming down, your eyes slowly look down as you go to your feet. So you're using your eyes even to direct that energy, okay? So what I do is I usually do that three times, okay? So you want to pull it up, and then hold it, uh, hold your breath for about maybe five to ten seconds. Okay, feel really, feel that pressure or feel that collection of your energy up there in the top of your head that you're looking up. And after five to ten seconds then you ah, then you completely relax and you can feel that energy flowing and washing. So the point of this is to wash. Okay, so washing through your body, down through your feet and out through your body or down through your hands and feet and out through your limbs. Okay, so that is called the Qi body washing technique. And then stay tuned and I'll show you the next technique what, what you do. Um, to help you fall asleep faster. So here's the next technique. I call it the body mindfulness relaxation technique. So after you wash your body through, uh, uh, let's say three times, okay, you've done the previous technique. Now it's time to uh, basically wash out each part of your body and help to relax each part of your body. So in the same way that we washed from head to toe, we want to go from each body part to each body part. For example, we're going to start with, let's say, um, our skull, okay? So we want to relax every part of our skull. So let's start with our hair, our skull. And uh, while you're sleeping, you want to take a deep breath in slowly, but now you don't want to do that squeezing anymore. So just take a nice long slender breath in. And imagine all the white energy around your skull. And then you want to breathe out. Imagine all that energy when you're breathing out, all draining down through your feet and draining down into nothingness and it becomes imagine your, your skull starts to disappear okay so you imagine you have this white energy breathe in slowly and then you just want to relax <sighs> imagine all that white energy just drained down your body and imagine your skull just disappeared and you can't see it you can't feel it okay do that about three times and after you've done that three times then you go to the next part let's say you want to do your eyes and your ears okay and this section of your head so you do the same thing you feel white energy going to that section of your head Okay, and then breathe out, breathe out, and breathe in, imagine the energy, and then, and then breathe out, let it go, and then imagine that part of your head basically disappearing. Okay, imagine disappearing, you can't see anymore, you can't feel it anymore. 
Okay, then you do your, let's say your jaw in this area. Do that about three times. So you go through each part of your body and next you do your neck. Next you do just maybe your left shoulder and then uh, your left uh, upper arm and then your left uh, forearm and then your hands and then the right shoulder and so on. Uh, upper arm, lower arm and then your hand. And then you maybe do, uh, do your chest. Okay, maybe you want to do your solar plexus, then your abs, and then maybe your hips, and maybe your tailbone, and then maybe your, your uh, start to do your each thigh, do your left thigh, right, do your left knee, and then left ankle, left calf, left ankle, left foot, and then you can do your right foot, uh, right thigh, and then right knee, your right calf, and right ankle, right foot. So you go through the sequence while you do this breathing, now having awareness of that body part, Imagining that body part filling with white light. And then imagine all that white light just washing down and draining to your body. And imagine that body part just basically dissolving with that white light. Imagine it dissolving and becoming nothing. And you can't feel it. And it basically it's in pure relaxation. That's, that's the feeling you want. And I've done this. And every time I've done it, I've never been able to complete doing it through the whole body. I always maybe I'm doing it to my left arm and then I next thing I know is I already woke up and then I'm already have had like a full nights of sleep that's how well it's worked for me sometimes I get to my right arm or to my stomach and then so I never really get down all the way to my feet and um, I always fall asleep in the middle of this mind exercise and this you can call it hypnosis you can you can call it hypnosis or you can call it qigong you can call it meditation but it's just a method that combines the use of your mind and your body and your breath in order to help you relax each part of your body in sequence. And it's, it's very hypnotizing actually, and it's very uh, relaxing. You can even do this when you are to meditate and it can really help you relax your body. So those are some tips and some techniques that you can start adopting to help you fall asleep faster and help you have deeper sleep and more higher quality sleep. So as a review, what are some of the um, techniques physically that you can do before you sleep is you can do the Grand Tai Chi, right? You can do the Wu Chi standing with your feet together, right? Then you can do um, the rocking with your feet wider, walking, rocking from side to side. And then while you are actually starting to sleep, you can listen to some brainwave entrainment um, frequencies. I use the Jupiter scaled frequencies, a very specific one. It's, I think there's only one site that has this frequency so you can use that one and um, you can do the uh, chi body washing technique and then you can also do the body mindfulness relaxation technique that I just explained. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I love to hear you trying out these techniques. I love to hear if they're working for you and what your experience is and um, if you have any questions make sure you comment in the comment section and ask me what kind of other stuff you want to learn about about how to connect your mind and body. So until next time, this is Sifu David, your mind and body mentor. And yes, we're giving away these free DVDs, Ancient Qigong Secrets for Mind and Body. All you need to do to enter the contest is to subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell to get notifications of all the new lessons, and comment in the comment section and like this video and you'll be entered into the draw. Every week we're giving away a free DVD, so good luck.